Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhalla. Sorry for disappearing for two days, work has been wild lately. I work at a bakery now and you'd expect that after Christmas things would calm down. No it doesn't, it just gets worse. Uh, but I finally found the time to record, so we're back to it. Starting with Jill. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Ah, the jukebox. I forgot about that. Well, let's get rid of all these not Christmas Christmas songs I tried to pick. Uh, and that one, that one, that one. Uh, where do I go from here? That's a good question. Nighttime maneuvers. Your love is a drug with renewed hope. N digital drive. Dusk. Uh, follow the trail. Organ trail? Question mark. Tense. Glitch city. I'm ready. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. The gunfire is still going off or whatever it is? You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that- Damn it! Oh, welcome back! I could have sworn this place looked a lot more- pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender. What did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you two. Huh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! Ah, <laughs> uh, see? Those sounds have been going on all night, and we can't figure out what they are, so we're fighting about it like children. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian. Nice to meet you. I don't know. You have a more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer? Oh, what the hell, I'll have a beer too. Two beers coming right up. All right, let's get them two beers. That's not bad at all. Beer, okay, one aldehyde. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, and then slot two. I remembered. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, Okay, beer. Beer. All right, serve it up. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How it's better than John or Gillian. Not his real name, apparently. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite a change of pace, huh? Oh, you're the dog people! You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Oh, um, um, premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least six cake people listening? Are they still- Oh yeah, it's constant, isn't it? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. Wait, these dogs talk? I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. I see. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something said? Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Mrs. Thompson's a cunt. <laughs> Mrs. Thompson's a cunt. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because Mrs. Thompson was a cunt. What's there to explain? 
<laughs> she constantly humiliated whoever got her question wrong. I had a teacher like that. I had one like that. He's actually the reason that when I went to college, I switched my major before I went in and then ended up switching it back because he would made me so miserable in English that I thought it wasn't what I wanted to do. I mean, I'm still not sure, but he like ruined it. Uh, he like made us watch a really garbage movie and I tried to Google some stuff about it to like learn about the process and I learned that like the director really messed with the script and so the movie came out a lot worse than it actually was but I couldn't remember the director's name and he got so offended that he kept interrupting me while I was trying to talk saying the director's name and eventually I got really annoyed and I just said you know what whatever and I stopped talking and he was like you have so little initiative you give up so easily I was Piss! I was so mad at him. I would also graffiti the school calling him a cunt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand you, Betty. <laughs> she also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall, but it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, how's stuff at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. Get them two Brantinis. Let's see. Many Bs today. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And one aged mix. Got a Brantini. Slot two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and boop, 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 boop. There we go. Serve them both. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, deal. Not all of us spent their weeks in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. Ah, uh, you missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. <sighs> Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliched that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. K kick Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. <laughs> no, let her do it. Let her do it. If Betty wants to kick them, they probably deserve it. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons, only you understand. Okay, maybe don't let Betty kick people. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not gonna let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. All right. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the one that organized the meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. Are you gonna kick her? What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at glance, she doesn't seem like the type. She did get her head stuck in a helmet yesterday, so I do agree with you there. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Huh. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks, 
No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. Uh, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. Jill totally doesn't have a crush on Dana, not at all. What do you think about Gil, then? Hmm, he sucks. His name should be John. <laughs> Gil's not saying anything. Mm hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone in your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Uh, well... You shut up. Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. Okay. Manly drinks. Which ones are strong? Okay, we've got the gut punch. The pile driver, which is burning, not strong. The suplex is not strong. Mars Blast is strong. The crevice spike is not, so let's see. Gut Punch is bitter, manly, and strong. The Mars Blast is spicy, manly, and strong. I think it's gotta be the Gut Punch. That seems more manly to be bitter, right? That's what they say. I don't fucking know. <laughs> It's okay to express your emotions. Anyway, one, two, three. Oh, did I screw it up? I did screw it up. One, two, three, four, five. One. Um, we'll put one Carmen Trine in there. Why not? All right, age, mix, gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. One. One. There we go, two gut punches. Here. Now drink. <laughs> oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Uh... You know? Make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. That's a very sudden question. Jill? First year of high school. The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning. I go to the meeting place. What did I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. <laughs> anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. <laughs> Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. Was it kick them? What was yours? Waterboarding. Okay, that's more intense than kicking. I s What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. I thought you said you were only convicted of- well, I guess convicted of a crime. That doesn't mean she hasn't done any other crimes. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. It's context, Betty. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. 
Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina? Which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damned cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Gil, what are you up to? Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Gil, what does that mean? Gil! Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? <laughs> Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. I love Dana so much. She's an absolute random dumpster fire of a person and I love it. Oh, hello again. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella, you're here for another drink today? Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. A anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Oh, it's not every day a client gives you a gift. Thank you, Stella. R really? I, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing, really. This just in! Huh? The Apollo Trust Bank has been locked in stores, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh, gods. Say! Is Say part of it? I wonder if she'll be alright. Or is Say going to help? Oh no, she said she was going to be there, wasn't she? Oh, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? It literally just appeared. The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. I hate being out of the loop. What's going on? What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Okay, Mars Blast. If I give you a Mars Blast, will you tell me what the heck is going on? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four, one, two. And it's blended, so we need to wait for the Shaka Shaka. Shaka Shaka Shaka. Boom! There we go. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Maybe a Jupiter Blast? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR, can't believe I'm in um, myself. Hey, who's this girl? Don't ask, please don't ask. She might wake up. She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24 seven. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah, so we were all wrong. Hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. 
Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink about it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to be to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Uh, never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Let's get him a beer then. I am worried about Say though. She's such a sweetheart, and if she's not in on it, because she isn't, she's just there to help. She just wants to help people, but she doesn't seem to think of herself. She is always rushing into danger without thinking about herself, and that really worries me. I'm worried something bad's gonna happen to her, and I don't want something bad to happen to her. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. You mean the whiskey tax? Well, that's not beer, is it? Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Well, salons were a big thing. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? All of these sudden questions people are asking today. Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself ineffectively, that new someone's in spider cyber cyberspace. You will still be here. It's kind of like Citizen Sleeper, the other game I'm playing on the channel. Check it out. Uh, just like the idea that the sleeper is a version of this person, but it's also not them. You're a completely different person just with the memories of that person who's asleep somewhere. You're not them. It's interesting to think about. If you upload your brain, is that really you? Or is that going to be a new person entirely, kind of like GLaDOS? Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. This is intense music for this conversation. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find out that their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words burnt the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Also, Gillian, please come back. Oh, all done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite, quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yup, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. Mega Christmas? She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what will the Nano Camel module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth. So I picked my Kotatsu, too. You have a Kotatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with all that. Ooh, Dana, I'd love to invite you over. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah? No more dancing. I'm, I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. Alright. Sorry for leaving her like this.
No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. I love you, Dana. Get a nice wall pattern or something, 400. Today's total transfer, look at all that money. All right, you have no new notifications or reminders. Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use nano camo to customize your room. How cool! What's nano camo? Something to liven up things in this room. We'll worry about that in a second. Let's go shop and get that winter fan. I really want to buy everything when we have the money. Cute clay house. Mega Christmas tree. Um, Where's the fan? Hollow Planet, Mulan Tea, Beer on Discount, Your Love is a Drug, Hollow Planet, Paper Lantern. Oh, it, okay, Joker Cyclone. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though, really good. All right, let's buy this. And you know what? Let's buy one more thing. What's the cheapest thing we have right now? 900, 600, 900, 300. Okay, it's a scrap of paper with the download code for Meet the Staff Scribbled. Let's buy that. There we go. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. You can now use nano camo to customize your room. Yeah, we'll focus on that next time. But now we have a fan. We have our lovely Kotatsu, which I actually live in a studio apartment right now. I've actually considered buying one of these before because the radiator does not work in here. Oh, well, maybe one day. They're too expensive. Everything is expensive. But that's where we will end it for now. But I'm really worried. I hope that Say is okay. I really like her, and I also really wonder what Gil's up to. Because we've already known he's up to some shady shit for a while, but what could it be? What part does he have in this? Because he left right before that breaking news thing. I'm wondering if it's just coincidental or if he's actually up to something. And it seems like Jamie might have known something too. I mean, he does talk with Gil the most. Usually Gil's the one that takes care of him. So I'm wondering if Gil and him are up to something. I guess we'll find out next time, but until then. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Don't wake up streaming Chan and have a good day.